Hi everyone, I'm Kenneth, and this is a quick tutorial on BitTransfer's Wallet Chrome extension. I'm gonna go through how you create a wallet, how you stake, and how you unstake, but also where to find the validators to stake to. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna go through everything pretty quickly now, and remember, all the links in this tutorial are in the description, so you can just copy paste them. Go ahead and open up your browser, then go to bittensor.com. Once the page is loaded, go to the wallet link. I'm doing this for two reasons. First, to show you that the old wallet from BitTensor is gone. Secondly, it's a lot easier to remember this link. Click download here. You can see that I'm using Edge. Edge is Chromium based, so the Chrome extension still works. I prefer Chrome myself, but I just wanted to show you, you do have this option. Now, click on get extension and then add the extension. If you see this pop-up box, it's because you're not logged into Edge. You can just close that one. Now, click on the extension button and then open up the wallet extension. First time you do that, you're gonna see a text. It's actually a good text and it tells you what they're not doing, which is good. Click the accept button. Now, you get two options. First, import your seed phrase, if you have created a wallet already, or create a wallet, which is what we're gonna do. Now, here you have your wallet's address. If you can remember that one, I will be impressed. <laughs> now, after that, you need to copy your seed phrase. Now, save that seed phrase somewhere securely, not in a text file on your desktop or on a piece of paper underneath your keyboard, because I see people do that. Anyway, once you're done, click the next step. Now, from here, Type in the account name you want, remember the account name, type in the password, and remember that of course. Now, there we go, the wallet is created. The next step here would be for me to open up an exchange and then show you how to buy Tau and then how to transfer that Tau from that exchange to your wallet. But most of you already know how to use an exchange, so I'm just gonna skip that step and jump directly into staking and unstaking. If you go in and open up your BitTensor wallet, you can see here that I have already transferred Tau to my wallet. Now I could go ahead and just press the stake button, but I don't know where to stake to. To find out good validators to stake to and what those validators are doing, you can go to taustats.io. Once there, open up the validators. Now, once you do that, you can scroll up and down this whole list and find loads of different validators. You can go into those different validators and click to find out more info. Now that you copied the address, go up and open up your BitTensor wallet, click the stake button, and then paste in the address. It will automatically load all these stats that you see here. And that's an easy way to confirm that it's the correct one. Once you, once you checked everything, click continue. Put in the amount that you want to stake. I'm just gonna put half a towel for now. And then click the stake button. Enter the password for your wallet and click continue. Confirm that everything is correct. Click confirm. There you go, successful. Now when you click back to your account, you're still gonna see that you have the same amount of towel. This is because this towel still belongs to you. It's only that you have staked half a towel in this case. So if you take your wallet address here and you copy that and you go up to the search button in towelstats.io, search for it. Now you can see here where you have delegated your towel and how much you actually have. So if we go back to our wallet, this is why it says that I still have the same amount. Now for the next step, we're gonna unstake and then we're done. To make sure that you still have the correct address in your clipboard, go down and copy it again, just to make sure, or at least I like to do that. After you've done that, go up and open up your BitTensor wallet extension again. Click on the stake button, put in the address, and if you want, you can actually select the delegator here and you can find out more information about that validator. Now click continue. You can see here how much you have staked. In this case, half a towel. Then you click the unstake button, 
put in your password and confirm. There we go. Now we have unstaked. Now, just to be on the safe side, you can always copy your key again and then go back to tilestats.io to see if it's staked or not. All right, there you go. We have installed the Chrome extension. We have created a wallet. We have staked and now we unstaked. And that's all for today, all right? Take care, people. Stay brilliant. Stay beautiful. See ya.